Good afternoon guys and welcome. It's Julie Cube from the Sunshine Coast here in Queensland, Australia doing a acrylic pour for you. Um, just kind of uh, freestyling today. I've got some colours mixed up that are a bit of an unusual mix but um, that's what I like to test and play with is things that you wouldn't normally put together and as some people say when they see me put it down they think no way that is not going to work but um, to have it luck or talent <laughs> um, it seems to come out really nice at the end so today is not an exception I've just got some sort of wacky colors that I've actually been just pre-mixing up some of my own colors um, to have a go with also with just some straight colors I'm using the Montmartre studio acrylics um, and I'm mixing them with the 70% clear craft craft glue um, this is great if you're in Australia and you uh, can order freely off our online store underneath if you can't I know a lot of people in the US are telling me that they can't find this just yet it will be coming to the US and there is some at stockists in there but it's obviously few and far between but the Elmer's glue all mixed at the 7030 does create pretty much the same really lovely cells the cells within cells so all of my information on how I mix my pouring medium and my Helmar silicon that I add to it is all in the information underneath this video so okay Today some yeah weird and wacky colours that I'm going to be um, testing out. It, it, uh, I'm hoping it comes quite muted but it, um, probably won't. This was like a, a, an orange that I'd mixed and added white to it. And I think I may have put a blob of brown, I'm not sure, or yellow. But it's kind of like a skin tone colour. So I'm going with it this is hopefully going to be a quick video for you this technique is so easy for beginners and it usually as long as you um, take note when you're pouring uh, making your pouring medium and add in your paint uh, with my recipe underneath there is absolutely no reason why this shouldn't be just the bomb just turn out beautiful so today it was something that I'm trying to um, do for myself it was a, a piece that I'd done oh, maybe about a year ago and I keep looking at the colours of it and I just, I cannot, <laughs> because I don't write anything down and it was actually before I started videoing, um, I, can't, I can't get the colours quite the same as, um, I'll try and put a picture up, there'll be a photo at the end of this of the colour that I was trying to achieve to get the same. And because, yeah, like I said, I just didn't note the colours down that I used in the way I laid them. I've tried all sorts of combinations to get the same outcome, but no. So, okay, this was plain um, white and I added a good blob of gold in with it, in the white, the, the metallic gold in the uh, studio acrylic. So that's got a real nice big blob of white in I've really made this mix quite thin because I believe that that was how I did the other mix that I did was quite thin uh, in, the, in the one that I'm trying to replicate but I know that I put the gold in the white because I seem to remember that but I suppose that's where it comes in very handy if you're very meticulous and you write down all your colors and do all that kind of thing all the things that I don't do um, I'm gonna just add uh, even I'm just gonna add a little bit of this it was gold no it was burnt umber and I added gold with it so it's made it like a really like metallic umber so I'm not going to add too much, she said. Don't want too much in it because I don't want it to overtake. Um, and the other mix I've been playing with is I mixed the, one of the new colours, which is Viridian. If you see the Viridian, 
and I mixed silver with it to uh, kind of <laughs> okay it's a custom color now so I don't know what to call it but Viridi silver I don't know it's um yeah just gonna be very quite plain and muted hopefully but we will see we will see and yeah as you see very um thin mix very thin mix because I'm only thinking that that's what I did with the one that I'm trying to kind of get similar to so it's just gently tilting your paints well and because these are really quite runny as you can see it's moving quite quickly around your canvas so it's um, tilting tilting so it's kind of looking more goldy and I just wanted that that viridian green in, in a more metallic -y colour because that's what I've got in the one that I'm trying to imitate. There you go. Okay, just go around your very edges nice and slow, nice and relaxed and just um, with your paint off the end just finger pop it don't worry there's no big stress over it just nice and easy okay that's very muted for me isn't it don't you think very muted but um, I didn't grab myself a cloth so I'll just grab a cloth and be back with you keep going with it I think I might just add a bit more of that green in there because I would like a bit more. Oh, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Well, well, and now here we go again. Got this very, very it was the burnt umber with a big blob of black so it's a real chocolate deep chocolate brown it's very very thin makes no trace this is going to be my swipe color and i really don't want it to um take over the the whole of the work i just want it to be very muted but let's let's see what i get Let's see if only that little drop will actually give me a nice swipe or give it a test. I'm really, really hoping that this is what I did last time when I got this effect. You'll see if it works and if it doesn't, it doesn't. Uh, yeah. Might not be enough swipe colour, but we'll just go with it. So, plenty of paint on there. Try when I've um, done this swipe, I will try and add, uh, show you the, the painting that I'm trying to replicate. And already I see that I've got too much of the skin tone because my other one is more of the, um, with the white and gold in it. But never mind, keep going with it. I'll just turn it around, just take it nice and slow no hurry <coughs> <coughs> yes i've got a cough but it's not i've been tested this morning because i started having a cough and oh, well, i've had a cough for a while as you all know but um you can't cough outside now without everybody looking at you and like you've got leprosy so i sort of thought i need to be able to tell people no I'm good it's it's just a cough <laughs> but anyway the doctor tells me no you are absolutely fine so there you go crazy town everywhere okay I'm thinking now that it looks as though that swipe color was mixed with Floetrol instead of mixed with glue because I can't I had it sitting there and I can't remember whether I pre-mixed it with Floetrol or glue but it looks like 
definitely looks like Floetrol. Looks like Floetrol swipe because it's more lacy. I might have to go over it with my other one that I know is glue. But let's just see what we get. And I actually may, just for the sake of this particular one, oh, I haven't used this for a long time. I always, I've been using my heat wand. So I'm just gonna try and see, because I know on the one that I'm trying to replicate, I would have used my butane torch. Okay, this baby's really got some bite in it, so. Definitely a butane torch can, can burn your canvas, so you have to be very careful with it. I do like the gun, but I just wanted to see if this was the difference that it made. It's absolutely nothing like the one I'm trying to replicate, but it's looking very nice. In fact, it's looking super duper. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to leave that now to develop, but it's actually really, really pretty. Look at that. I'm going to leave it to develop for a little while and then I'll come back and show you because the other one I did the cells completely stretched right out and morphed the whole canvas and that was because I did them so thin so fingers crossed see you in five minutes okay guys it has only been a few minutes and they are definitely morphing as you see they're stretching out and this is what happened before they stretch right out to meet with one another and they formed this i did do in this one i did a few balloon kisses but they didn't actually look like balloon kisses as you see they sort of morphed and that's what i'm trying to replicate and i can see straight away the green is not that green this must be kind of a palm green metallic and the gold so this is the one I'm trying to replicate but as you see I did a very thin brown but the brown kind of disappeared um, so I will do some balloon kisses in it because this didn't end up looking like kisses look it ended up morphing now I did sell this straight away but then when I come to put the coat of gloss on it I stuffed up or something stuck in it there and I didn't end up selling it I, I, I didn't want to sell it like that so I kept it but I've never since been able to replicate it and I absolutely love it but now I'm doing videos of obviously you've always got a reminder then of what you did but yeah not not quite like the green is completely different it is actually morphing the same so I would say it's the thinner mix I will just do while you're with me some of those balloon kisses and hope that they help it morph, morph, morph further because you just, I'm just letting them all drop in. That's a bit, I need some brown or something on that. Put back in. Okay, that's it. Use some of that brown to put in yeah this one didn't actually because when you do it so thin they they don't actually come out looking like kisses they come out looking like that one did mor morphing into sort of nice shapes and that's what I want I don't want the traditional balloon kiss look I mean I look this is all look at this looky looky I would just let it keep look it's stretching out because it was such a thin mix it gives a whole different look when you give a real thin mix but um, this is falling in a bit so maybe I need to come along when it's a little bit drier so, yep yeah, this is very very thin very thin mix but yeah, 
whole different ball game when you do a mix this thin because it just it's nice that not the nice little round cells they morph into this whole life of its own and it's a really really good look if you want to try something a little different okay, that needs a bit more color in it but I'll come back and let that dry a bit but you get the gist so I think it's going to be a really super one in itself without looking exactly like the one that I tried to replicate because that's that is lovely and it is definitely morphing into one another okay I love that I actually like that I'll show you the one I'm trying to replicate so I'll work a little bit more on trying to do the custom colors the same as this one because I absolutely love this and if I know that I know the exact colors then I can do it on a much bigger one so but kind of same look but obviously different shades didn't have so much of that fleshy color in it so until next time thanks so much for joining me and thank you for subscribing and if you haven't done so please do so it is free uh, my tutorials are free and they'll give you something to do if you're housebound with what's happening in the world right now you just need to sit there and enjoy your youtube videos that's where i believe so bye for now until next time